Now we're going to show you a new way to enter uh, melody and uh, notation without having to use a, a, a keyboard, a MIDI keyboard at all. Um, now we're going to put in the song, uh, just the first uh, few bars to the song, Old Folks at Home, and we'll do it in the key of F. So our first chord is F, then we'll do an F7 at bar 2, a B flat 6, down to G minor 7. This is way down upon the Swanee River, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, and we're into a G minor 7th and a C 7th. Uh, now, an, uh, another feature of Band in a Box is called the K Quick Copy feature, and if you just type K and enter, it'll copy the last eight bars. And there's <coughs> small little language you can use if you want to use something more than K. K12 will copy the last 12 bars. K12, comma 4 will copy the last 12 bars starting at bar 4. Um, that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, you can commonly use it. So if you wanted to just copy the last four bars, you type uh, K4. So we could just type K16, and then we'll get the last, um, you know, copied for the last 32 uh, bars. Now we'll set the tempo as just by typing this uh, minus key, one, two, three, four. Now, our challenge is now to enter the notation for this particular song. And, uh, of course, uh, if we wanted to... Uh, if we knew everything about durations of notes and triplets and, and everything, uh, it would be very easy for us to enter this. But who wants to worry about anything to do with durations or that sort of thing? Let's do it a, a, a more intuitive way because uh, we can tap out the rhythm. And, uh, the, and, of course, if we have a MIDI keyboard, that becomes very easy. But we don't have a MIDI keyboard in this particular situation. We just want to do it on our uh, uh, typewriter keyboard. So here's what we do. We make sure the wizard feature is on here, and it's described here. The wizard feature is a feature that lets you play along on the QWERTY keyboard, and it always uses intelligent notes on the bottom. It's not going to use the song for uh, notes for old folks at home because, of course, it doesn't know the song. But all we're using it for is the fact that it will enter notes of some kind, which we will then correct the pitch of later. So let's do that now. We're going to press the record, the MIDI record, not the audio record. We'll press record and we'll record from the start of the song. And then I'm just going to be, as the song's playing, I'm going to be typing in uh, notes using the wizard. Now, they're not going to be the right notes of uh, old folks at home, but we won't worry about that. So here we go. Way down upon the Swanee River far So I'm using the right rhythm. Okay, now we'll press stop and we'll keep that take. Now, we'll look at that on the notation. And you can see, especially if we go to the note roll notation, you'll see that uh, what we have is a um, representation of the uh, notes that we played. and. Uh, uh, here, everything's right except the particular uh, notes of the song. So uh, we're going to now use this feature called Step Advance. So we're, we're going to use on our numeric keypad, we'll have the NumLock key on, and we'll press the Delete, which is the Advance key on it, and then we'll get our first note, and we're going to correct the note and we're going to correct it by using this new feature, uh, which is in version 9. And if I use, if I have this note highlighted in red, now the cursor keys will move the note up to the first note we want. So we're starting the melody of way down upon the Swanee River. So I go to the next note. Now I go to the next. Now we're going to Swanee River. That note happens to be right. Now the next one is going to be up an octave. Whoops. Down. Up.
Now we're going. So now we're done, we press the escape key and uh, we've fixed all the notes of the tune and now you can hear it. So obviously I typed in the wrong chords there, which we can easily, easily fix. And now we have a tune that's starting to take shape. And now uh, we can use another feature of version 9, which is that we can type in lyrics to that particular song. So we'll go, go back to the beginning of the song, and then we'll type the lyrics button. And you see as we type the lyrics button, or we could have entered it from the lyrics menu by Control l you can see that we can now enter lyrics and the note that we're entering them is highlighted and then we type in way and then to move to the next one we can use the tab key or the enter key and we'll type down upon and you that's you with a, a hyphen upon the swanee and usually the convention is you put a, a hyphen River, I don't know the words to this song, but we'll say it's far, far away. So we can continue on with this if we knew the uh, words to the whole thing. But here, here's the thing playing with the lyrics. Now let's open up our uh, lyrics menu here, and you can see that w the words are there on a big lyric screen. And they highlight. And you can see the chords are uh, interleaved here, which is a nice feature. Now, that's as far as we entered the lyrics. Now, uh, if you play them, you could also say, I don't want to see the chords interleaved. So then you would just be seeing them like that. And then it would highlight. And you notice that the hyphens are gone. So we've put in that entire uh, song without uh, using uh, any kind of MIDI keyboard and we've got melody, chords, lyrics and arrangement uh, pretty well uh, al uh, almost complete. I say almost because as a guitar player it'd be nice to hear a uh, guitar solo on it so why don't we just press the guitar uh, button and then the chord solo button and uh, see if we can get a uh, chord solo happening. So you can see uh, it's doing a full guitar solo and so uh, and that's the end of the song. It looks like we could fix up some chords at the end of that uh, song too. Uh, we were just typing them in quickly in this particular demonstration. So that concludes the uh, tutorial for demonstrating entering um, chords using this method.